Hey, it's Paul. Today we're going to continue looking at RxJS and observables. So yesterday we made an observer and that observer passed particular values down the data stream. We then subscribed to that stream and logged out that data into the console. To iterate over this again, we'll just have a quick recap. If we run this code, we can see that we get the number one in the console and that is delivered synchronously. If we wanted to mock an asynchronous call, we could use the set timeout method and then pass down observer.next to after one second. So if we run this again, you'll see we get one and then two. But that ran asynchronously and the stream is consistent until we unsubscribe. So we went through this before. Next, we're going to have a look at the completed and the error methods on side of our observable. So we'll start by wrapping this inside a try catch block. So we'll do try and then catch any errors. So let's say we're going to pass down the one value. Then we're going to pass down the number two. But after that, we're going to complete the observable and unsubscribe. So we can use observer.complete. And that will call the complete method and anything after this two here and anything after the complete will not run. So to prove this, I'm going to run observer.next three. If we run this again, we shouldn't get the number three because after the first next two has been sent down the stream, we are completing the observable and the three will not be passed down the stream because the stream is no longer able to be subscribed to. So if we run this again, we get one, two, and no three. And that's because after the second value that we're passing down the stream, we are completing the observable and unsubscribing. What happens if there's an error inside of our observable? Well, we can use the observer.error and we can pass down the error message down the stream. We can then subscribe to both the complete and the error messages within our subscription block. So we can say error and console.error any errors and complete and console.log done. If we run this again, we should get as we expect the number one, a second later, the number two, and then a done call inside of our console. So there's one, there's two, and there's done. If we wanted to test our error message, we could, of course, after the second value before completing the observable, run the observer.error and say error message. And if we run that again, you see we get one, two, and error message. Notice though, we didn't get done. So the complete method is not called. Instead, when the error message happens, the observable errors out and is unsubscribed. We can prove that no more data is sent down the stream by commenting out the completion function, clearing the console and running it again. We don't get that third value, observer.next, after the error message. So if we delete our observer.error, and we delete the commented out function, we should find that everything then works again as expected. I hope this video helped you in understanding both the completion and error functionality within our observables. If you found this helpful, then hit that subscribe button because we've got way more videos on the way. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.